Hey there, today we're going to learn about what a CER is. So a CER is a way that we write our answers in math and you will probably see it in science as well. We try and write in every subject, so using a CER really helps us when it comes to solving math problems and explaining our thinking. So over on the left, you can see the different sentence stems that you can use for a CER. So your claim is usually your answer. So the different sentence stems are my claim is, I think, my answer is. Your evidence is how did you get that answer? So I found that, my proof is, um, my evidence is, and then your reasoning is your claim and your evidence put together. So I know this because the reason for this is or what I found is. So I'm going to show you what it would look like if we had a problem to solve and how we would write a CER. So our problem that we are presented with says Mary has five dollars. She did her chores around the house and earned $3 for cleaning the bathroom and $2 for cleaning her room. How much money does Mary now have? So we would first wanna look at the question, which is how much money does Mary now have? So we know that's what we're solving for. So if I was a student, I know that I should be adding, so I would write my five plus my three, plus my two, okay? And I know after I showed my work that I would get $10. So when we move to the claim evidence and reasoning, our CER, the first thing that we would do is our claim. So usually when we take our claim, that's like I said, our answer. So I would write, let me see if I can get my text box. There we go. So for example, I could write, my claim is Mary now has $10. Simple as that. We want a full sentence that is answering our question. Our evidence would be, my evidence is I added, Five plus three plus two, and I got the answer 10. So your evidence is writing out what your work was. And then your evidence, like I said, is your claim plus your reasoning. So I would could say, I know this because the problem said she earned money, which Let's me know I have to add. And the question was how much money does she now have? This tells me I have to add five, three, and two. And when I did that, I got 10. So, just a reminder, our claim is our answer, our evidence is how we got our answer, and our reasoning is our answer and our evidence. So why did we decide to do what we did for this problem? If you have any more questions about claim evidence or reasoning, or CER, feel free to reach out to us so we can give you more help.